Hi everyone, I'm Yu Rong from Cornell University. Today I will introduce our paper, Pseudolidar Plus Plus. In this paper, we focus on the 3D object detection problem. Here, the model should predict the 3D locations of objects, for example, cars in an autonomous driving scenario, based on sensor data like LiDAR point clouds or images. Recent methods can be categorized into LiDAR-based and image-based methods according to the main input signal they use. Image-based methods fell far behind the LiDAR-based ones in terms of detection accuracy until the introduction of the SU LiDAR pipeline last year. Instead of using images in perspective view as was common in prior work, the SU LiDAR pipeline proposed using existing depth estimation models to convert the images into a so-called SU LiDAR point cloud and then applying LiDAR-based 3D object detection models. By simply changing the representation, the pipeline greatly reduced the gap between image-based and LiDAR-based methods. However, there is still a bit accuracy difference on these two, and we will have to make hard trade-off between them in terms of performance, cost, and look. How can we avoid this? To further close the gap between the two, we propose two methods to advance the stereo-based SULADA pipeline. First, on the depth estimation front, we propose switching the focus of minimizing disparity error to that of minimizing depth error. Second, to compensate for the inherent difficulty in image depth estimation, we propose a novel pipeline that combines inexpensive fubing LiDAR with SU LiDAR. By these two changes, we obtain much more accurate depth estimation and therefore much more accurate detections, while keeping the money costs low. To describe the first contribution, we need to look at the architecture of disparity estimation networks. This will typically take a pair of stereo images, use some feature extractor to extract a pair of feature maps, then slide one against the other by different disparity values to create a 4D disparity cost volume, and finally apply 3D convolution and softmax to obtain a disparity estimation. We convert the disparity map to a depth map to create a pseudo LiDAR. The loss used to train such a network is the error in disparity. This works well if the evaluation metric is focusing on disparity. However, in pseudo LiDAR, all we actually care about is the quality of estimated point clouds. This relates more directly to depths instead of disparity. By the nature of disparity, faraway objects tend to have a smaller disparity, which will result in under-optimization if we just simply minimize the overall disparity loss. To overcome such issue, we design a stereo depth network, which wraps the disparity cost volume into a depth cost volume in the network. Furthermore, we minimize the depth error instead of disparity error. We found that this can greatly improve the pseudo quality on faraway objects and lead to a better 3D detection accuracy. Secondly, the LiDAR sensor can actually be very cheap if the bin number is limited, such as sparse LiDAR can provide limited samples of accurate depth information. In contrast, pseudo LiDAR can infer the general shape and rough depths of an object. If we can combine the best of these two, we can have both accurate depths and shape while still keeping the cost low. We propose graph-based depth correction, which fuses these two signals in a natural way. To start, we build the k-nearest neighbor graph on pseudo-LiDAR points and use linear least squares to calculate corresponding weights so that the depth of a point can be reconstructed by the weighted sum of that of its neighbors. Then, we project the sparse LiDAR and pseudo-LiDAR points to the image plane to obtain their correspondence and move the matched pseudo-LiDAR points to the correct positions. Finally, the corrected depth map is obtained by using a sparse matrix solve to recover the rest of the points using the reconstruction weight. The whole process can be implemented on a GPU at 90 milliseconds per frame. We evaluate our methods on a KIDI dataset. We simulate the 4-bin LiDAR from 64-bin LiDAR by limiting the vertical view angle. Combined with the 4-bin LiDAR, SU LiDAR can achieve near LiDAR performance on some metrics. We provide qualitative visualization of our methods. It can be seen that they can significantly improve the detection quality, especially on faraway objects. To summarize, 
We propose stereo depth network and graph-based depth correction that greatly enhance the pseudo pipeline while keeping the sensor cost low. You can access our code and paper through the following links. Thanks for your attention.